for sure is peaceful since we defeated Nebulos and Radiform. Yeah, I still can't believe the heart of the universe turned you into, like, a super being, Nova. That was so cool the way you fought Nebulos. Thank you, Tank. That is very kind of you. I'm just glad it's over. There was a lot of damage. Thankfully, Dex and River will be working to fix up Sanctuaria and help any other villages the Shadow Army attacked. Is that why Glacia and Flash aren't coming with us on this new mission? Yes, they will be helping River and Dex, which leaves you, Tank, and Bubbles for the mission to River's old universe. Uh, speaking of Bubbles, where is she? Uh, I'm ready to go. Bubbles, we're going on a mission, not a vacation. What is all this stuff? Leo, we're going to another universe. I have to come prepared. Let's see. Ooh, there's an invisibility cloak, some night vision goggles, gummy worms, jetpacks. Uh, Bubbles, no offense, but we definitely don't need all that stuff. <sighs> oh, all right. I'll leave some of it here. But don't come crying to me when you want gummy worms. Believe me, we won't. Okay, you three. Jumping into another universe will take a lot of power, so I've supercharged your portal casters. There should be enough power to get you to River's old universe and back. Uh, should? I don't like the sound of should. Once I use my powers to open a dimensional tear, your portal casters will allow you to jump through. When you get to the other side, find the heart. It's the only way to save River's universe. Um, can you remind me what happened to River's universe? River was a Starkeeper before she came to this universe, and her leader, Radiform, betrayed the Starkeepers and tried to use that heart of the universe to turn everyone into robots. She failed, and the heart was destroyed. We thought that would destroy her universe as well, but when I defeated Nebulos, I felt that River's universe is still there. And we can still save it! Come on, let's go! Remember, if anything goes wrong, use your portal casters to get back home or get in touch with me. Right. Here goes nothing. Next stop, River's Universe. <laughs> Stay safe, you three. <laughs> Dimensional jumps are a thousand times worse than normal jumps. I think I'm gonna hurl. Is everyone okay? Oh, this place looks very not happy. <sighs> I know Nova said the heart of this universe had been broken, but I didn't realize it would make everything look so dark and gloomy. I'm sure it won't seem as gloomy once we let the people of this planet know we have come to save their universe. That's part of why we're here, to spread light and hope. Well, until then, I'll use my firepower so we can see a little better. <clears throat> my firepowers? Why aren't they working? Uh, <clears throat> oh, my water powers are gone too! <clears throat> yeah, I'm not getting huge! And no rock armor either! Oh no! Nova! Uh, come in, Nova! We have a problem! Nova? Anyone? If our portal casters aren't working, how are we going to get back home? I don't think we can, Tank. I think we're stuck here. Without our Starkeeper powers, how are we ever going to save River's universe? I can't believe we just got here and we've already failed our mission. Bubbles, how are you still so cheery and bright right now? We're stuck in another universe, and we lost our Starkeeper powers. I know, but Nova wouldn't have sent us on this mission if she didn't believe in us, powers or not. But I'm pretty sure our powers are the reason Nova thought we could do this. We can't do anything without them. Oh, that's not true. What's our job as Starkeepers? Is this a trick question? No, I'm serious. Uh, to help people? You know, uh, protect them, uh, give them hope. To do good, I guess. Help people have joy? Interesting. Neither of you said anything about having powers. 
Huh. I guess we didn't. Exactly! Because we are here to spread light, not to have powers. So let's keep our focus on that mission. I guess we can try. I do wish I had some light to shine in front of us, though. It's getting really dark. Oh! I left most of the cool Starkeeper gadgets behind in our universe because someone told me we wouldn't need them. But I did bring this. Ha! A flashlight. Bubbles, you're a genius. I brought one for each of us. Now we can all see where we're going. You know, we haven't seen any people or villages around. Just dead trees and dirt. Maybe they all live underground? Uh, well, we know one thing lives underground. A giant centipede! <gasps> Stay back, kids! Watch out for the pincers! Whoa! <gasps> Leo! He dodged the centipede's pincers! Who is that? No clue, but he sure knows how to fight! Oh no you don't, you big bully! Kids, cover your noses! <sighs> what? Why? Trust me! <sighs> Ugh, what's that smell? Ugh. Stink bomb. Centipedes hate it. But what they love is shiny things like your flashlights. That's probably what the big guy was after. Don't you three know anything about surviving in the zone? Our flashlights? We would have given him one if he asked. We have plenty. What's the zone? You're in it. It's what we call this universe, the zone. You kids aren't from here, are you? I'm Strider. Thanks for saving us, Strider. I'm Leo, and this is Bubbles and Tank. We're Star Keepers from another universe, and we've come here to help save the zone and restore the heart of the universe. Maybe you can help us. Haven't you heard? The Zone's heart is broken. I suggest you either go back from where you come from or find somewhere to hide. But there's a chance the Zone can be saved. Leo, Tank, look at his wrist. Huh? Hey, you have a portal caster. So? Portal casters are only given to Star Keepers. You're a Star Keeper. River did say she was part of the Star Keepers before she followed Radiform to our universe. I was a Star Keeper, but the Star Keepers disappeared after Radiform broke the heart. But what about helping others and following the Star Keeper code? Not interested. I tried following the Star Keeper code after Radiform broke the heart, but nothing changed. Now leave me alone and go back to your universe. It's okay, Bubbles. We'll find someone else to help us. Ah! Let me go! It sounds like Strider's in trouble! It also sounds like someone else is coming! <gasps> Quick! Everyone hide! Well, well, well. Looks like we caught a fly in our web, Quinn. He is not a fly, Finn. Why would you say he's a fly? And what do you mean, we? I shot the web cannon that caught him. I'm not saying he's a fly. It's a figure of speech. But I saw him first, so I basically caught him. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. If it isn't the twins, Finn and Quinn, don't you have better things to do? Our scanner picked up some weird portal energy around this area. <laughs> so we came to check it out. And who do we find but a former Starkeeper? You wouldn't have anything to do with the portal energy, would you, Strider? What do we do? We can't save him using our powers. They still aren't working. Oh, Bubbles, what about your invisibility cloak or the jetpacks? I didn't bring any of that stuff, remember? You guys told me we wouldn't need them. We did tell you that, didn't we? Oh, I hate not having my powers. I feel so useless. Leo, our powers are really great, but don't let them shine brighter than the real reason we're here as Starkeepers! You mean like the way you sometimes focus more on making friendship bracelets than whatever mission we happen to be on? Hey! That's only happened like four times, and I've gotten better about not doing that! Okay, okay, you're right. Even without our powers, we can still find a way to do good things and spread light. So then, Bubbles, 
if you didn't bring any of those gadgets, what did you bring? Uh, let's see. I have my pajamas, the flashlights, the coloring book. That's it! The flashlights! Bubbles! We need to turn on all the flashlights in your bag. Um, okay. Won't that waste the batteries, though? Just trust me. Uh, Finn? Uh, what, Quinn? I'm in the middle of an interrogation right now. Where did all those shiny lights come from? The giant centipede is back. <laughs> Everyone, shine your flashlights on those twins. Got, Got it. it! Hey, who are you three? Quick, Quinn, don't just stand there. Use the sonic blasters. Me? It was your turn to bring them. Ugh, I brought them last time. They're gone. Quick, turn off your flashlight before that centipede gets bored and comes back. <laughs> Uh, uh, a little help here, kids? This net is kind of heavy. Don't worry, Strider. We'll help you get free. <laughs> How did you kids do that? Earlier, you said centipedes like shiny things. So we took all our flashlights and got the centipede to come out of the ground. You could have run away and saved yourself. Why did you come back to help me? I wasn't very nice to you three earlier. Because we're star keepers. We're here to spread light, hope, and happiness wherever we go. Hmm. You know, I haven't really been living in a way that reflects a true Starkeeper. But you've reminded me why I became one in the first place. Does this mean you'll help us? Yes. I'll help you. Come on. Finn and Quinn will be back. They don't like losing. I know a place where we can hide, though. underground hideout is yours? What are all these gadgets? Careful. That's a quantum bubble blaster. Almost lost my eyebrows the first time I used it during a mission. So, this stuff was yours when you were a Starkeeper? Yep. Gadgets, knickknacks, souvenirs from missions, you name it. Wow. You must have so many stories. <laughs> Those will have to wait till after you three save the zone. Now, what do you all know about a universe's heart? Well, we know they're made of portal stars, and it's super bad for a universe if its heart is destroyed. <laughs> Worse than bad. When the heart is destroyed, the universe is destroyed as well. But your universe is still here. Barely. When Radiform betrayed the Star Keepers and broke the heart, it was almost destroyed. Instead, it broke into ten portal stars, and for some reason the portal stars all turned gray. What do you mean, turned gray? You see this hologram? This is what a living portal star looks like. <gasps> it's so bright and colorful. Exactly. And our portal stars used to look like this. But then, they changed. And now they look like this. Whoa! All the colors gone! They're so sad looking. How do we fix them? If I knew that, I would have done it years ago. There's still a missing portal star somewhere where our hearts used to be. I suggest you three start there. Wait, just one portal star is missing? Where are the other nine? Don't worry about that for now. Okay, so where is this remaining portal star? Last I knew, it was at the old Starkeeper base. Unfortunately, that base now belongs to Quinn and Finn's boss, a cyborg named Dr. Disco. He's half man, half robot. After he took the portal star from Planet Aurora, he moved it here. You kids will have to be very careful with him. Wait, aren't you coming with us? My Starkeeper days are over, Leo. But I can help you three prepare for your mission and navigate to the zone. Sounds good to me. Yay! And by restoring the portal stars, we can spread more light to others in the zone. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's find ourselves this missing portal star. <laughs> <laughs>